Welcome to CJ Dive. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to let you know that this is the first video in a new series which I wanted to make for a while now, and that is answering your questions in a video format. So if you're stuck with a Blender problem and would like to get help from me, then at the end of the video I'll share some info about how this can work. And without further ado, let's uh, focus on today's problem. Here I am in Blender 2.93. And this file was given to me by Londas on Discord. And let's see the problem. Um, here I have a meta rig for Rigify. If I just generate it and then parent the mesh to the new generated rig with automatic weights. As soon as the automatic weights are applied, you'll notice a little bit of a uh, distortion in the mesh. And you can easily see this if you switch from rest position and post position rest position, post position, rest position, post position. Okay, this is something that people experience from time to time. And now I'm going to undo and yeah, undo this um, generation of the rig and go to pose mode, select this upper arm and go to the bone tab. And here under rig type, you'll notice that the rotation axis is switched to X manual. The default is automatic. If we just switch to automatic and generate the rig, then um, you'll notice that this problem is actually gone. Um, here I can switch between rest position, pose position, rest position, pose position, rest position. And you'll notice that there is no distortion in the mesh. There is some on the other side, on the other arm, where the rotation axis was not fixed. And by the way, there I have the same problem in the legs. So I'm going to undo. So you'll see this problem most likely when you have changed the rotation axis to a manual one and not the automatic one. And before we go any further and I explain why this happens and how to fix it, uh, I want to let you know that this is completely fixed in Blender 3.0. Here I am in Blender 3 um, and I have the exact same model and the exact same meta rig Everything is exactly the same. The only difference is that I'm going to generate this rig in Blender 3, okay? Generate the rig, pair it with automatic weights, and there is no flipping no, and no distortion at all. Rest position, pose position, rest position, pose position, everything is perfect. So if you're ready to update to Blender 3, then you can forget about this problem. It doesn't exist uh, as far as I can see in Blender 3. And in this new Blender, there have been a lot of interesting updates to Rigify. Uh, I'm going to cover them soon. One of them is a whole new system for phase generation. It is a new modular system, which allows a lot of flexibility, but it is also more complex than the previous static phase. Anyway, let's go back to Blender 2.93 and let's see what we can do about this problem. Here I have activated the axis display for the meta rig, and that is done uh, under armature, viewport display, axis. Just tick axis and they'll appear. And notice how in the axis of the forearm, the Z axis is kind of pointing forward, whereas in the upper arm, it's pointing a little bit down. So let's go to edit mode, and I have the um, X axis mirror activated here, X axis mirror and the tool. And I'm going to press Ctrl R and start rotating this roll of the bone until the Z axis is pointing forward, similar to this one, to the forearm. And now I'm going to go to object mode and generate again. And now let's pair it with automatic weights. And now if I go between rest position and pose position, you'll notice that there is a little bit of distortion, but very, very little. So actually that is quite usable. You can just work that way. It shouldn't be a big problem. But if you want to fix it completely, let's undo. And what you need to do is to match the roll of all arm bones uh, so that they are exactly the same. And you can do that easily. Simply select the hand, then shift select the lower arm and then shift select the upper arm, press shift N and choose active bone. And that will align the axis of all selected bone to the axis of the active bone. So you have to make sure that the active bone has the axis exactly as you want it. And then you can simply go to object mode, generate, parent with automatic weights, and now rest position, pose position, rest position, pose position, nothing is flipping. And that is the basic solution. We can go a little bit further here. Notice how the palm of the hand here is pointing forward. And that is something that I actually wouldn't um, recommend. 
it is recommended that you keep your hand something like this. Now, modeling wise, this is not so good, but I mean, visually, the hand should be uh, oriented in this way. Uh, you know, if you look in the, in the top view, you'll see the uh, back of the hand. So I'm going to undo this. Um, and let's assume that for some reason you want to rig the hand like this. Um, then you can go to your meta rig, go to edit mode, select the hand, and press Ctrl R to change the roll until the x axis is pointing forward. Now remember, this is this will only work if you uh, set your rotation axis to manual. If you set it to uh, automatic, then Rigify will auto align everything, and these uh, rolls don't matter at all. But anyway, let's um, generate the rig again, and you'll see that. The hand widget is now properly aligned, which is nice. However, there is a lot of distortion in the in the hand now and in the lower arm. So this is pretty bad. So I know of only one way to fix this in Blender 2.93 and earlier. I'll go to object mode, select the mesh, Alt P, clear parent. I'm going to delete all vertex groups and delete the armature modifier if it's still there. And now I'll go to my rig, go to pose mode, make sure that I'm in pose position, and I'm going to press Ctrl A, apply pose as rest position. Then in object mode, I'm going to parent with automatic weights now. Okay. And now this rig should work, and I can go between rest position and pose position, and nothing will be flipping. But again, in Blender 3, you don't really need to think about this. I can just go to my Meta rig, fix the roll of the hand, generate the rig, and the hand widget is aligned and there is no flipping, no distortion. So yeah, um, if you can update to Blender 3, please do. Uh, there is a lot of uh, good stuff in general, lots of uh, speed improvements, uh, cycles is faster, everything is faster, and Rigify has been updated. A lot of annoying and unintuitive issues with Rigify have been fixed, uh, this uh, mesh distortion being one of them. Another one is that you no longer need to hide your generated rig in order to regenerate. That will save a lot of frustration for a lot of people. And yeah, I'll make more videos about uh, Rigify in Blender 3. But now let's talk about how you can submit your questions and I'll try to answer them here on CG Dive. Since uh, CG Dive started and gained some popularity, I've been getting a lot of questions and I really try to help people and I've literally uh, helped hundreds of people solve their problems. And unfortunately, uh, the only person that benefits from this is the person asking. At the same time, I'm getting more and more busy with the channel and I'm getting more and more questions, so I may not be able to answer everybody in the future. So here's what I want to do. I want to streamline the process of asking questions. And for that purpose, I prepared this form here. It is uh, still a draft. Uh, it may change a little bit, but basically you'll need to share your active email address so that I can follow back with you, ask you some clarifying questions and so on. Next, you need to describe your problem in as much detail as possible. Oftentimes I get comments like, my rig doesn't work. Um, and that is so vague that I simply cannot do anything to help, aside from guessing, which uh, I don't have time to. Another funny type of comments that I get is, my legs don't work, or my eyes won't move. And you know, <laughs> call an ambulance? So the best questions are, you're working on something, you get stuck, and then you present your exact situation, and then I can try to help. Another type of question that I'm simply not going to be able to answer is uh, questions that are too broad. For example, how do I rig clothing? On the other hand, if you're already trying to rig your clothing and you have a specific issue that you cannot solve, then you can share it here. Then ideally you should share some work files with me. You should self-host them on uh, Google Drive or something. But if you can absolutely not uh, self-host, then you can also upload the file. And finally, you should let me know if I can show your file in a YouTube video. And allowing me to show the file uh, will make it much more likely that I'm going to try to solve the problem. And then finally submit your question. And yeah, this is just a draft for now, but it's going to be something like this. Okay, let's see how this works out. And by the way, I'm still considering what to name this new type of video. 
I have a few silly ideas like fix my meta rig or maybe my legs don't work. But yeah, if you have any cool ideas as to what I can call this segment here on CJ Dive, then let me know in the comments. As always, thanks to my Patreon and Gumroad supporters. They made all of these videos that I made in 2021 possible. Please like, subscribe and so on. And uh, I hope you tune in next time.